Hey friends, Jackie Sinclair here with Go Digital Diva. I am back again today with a blogging 101 tutorial. So blogging can be really overwhelming. It can be really stressful. It can create a lot of anxiety um, because there's no right way and there's no wrong way to blog. Blogging is about how you write your piece of content to present it to your audience, right? It's nuggets of knowledge in bite-sized chunks <laughs> for the audience to take to take in, right? So it's taking a big idea and breaking it down. Um, it's taking tricks, tips, hacks, all that stuff and showing your people how to do it because you are the expert, you are the go-to person. So today I wanna talk you through some steps that I use with clients and that I teach on to ease the anxiety and the overwhelm of blogging. And then once you get these kind of under control and you know exactly what your steps are, creating that content is gonna be a lot easier. And then building on that, um, you would create an outline of your blog. So I want you to kind of think about these and write them down on a piece of paper because it's gonna be really useful to have them. So let's go ahead with um, step number one. You wanna pick out your topic, right? So what is it that you wanna talk about? What do you want your audience to learn about? What's something that you're seeing a trend in people asking questions about? Um, or maybe something major came up in your field that you want to address. So pick your topic. That's step number one. Step number two is identifying the goal of the blog. What is the intention that you want for this? Um, pick two to three goals that you want. Where do you want to take the reader during the blog? Where do you want to start and where do you want to end? Then step three is identifying who you're talking to. Um, who needs to hear this information, right? Uh, who will who will this information uh, really benefit if they read this? That's step number three. Then step number four is to create the blog itself. So section out an introduction, your support, and your conclusion. In your introduction, you're talking about, one, yourself, why this uh, topic or message is really important. Then you're integrating in the support for it, so all the guts and glory of it. And then your conclusion is going to be just kind of re-summarizing what you've talked about in the rest from the rest of the blog, right? Kind of end it on a good note. Bring them back to why this is important. Bring them back to how you're the expert on it. Bring it back to how you've helped client overcome um, these problems using whatever it is that you talked about in your support. Then step number five is clear call to action. And you'll be surprised how many times people leave out a call to action on their blogs, in their newsletters, um, on posts, on social media. And I do always say 80-20, you want to offer support to people, but you also want to offer value with no strings attached. So in social media, you can add links or whatnot, I'd say 80% of the time. 20% of the time you want to just offer value, but that still doesn't mean that you have to leave out the call to action. A call to, call to action could be for them to tell you, you know, um, an open-ended question. It could be to message you um, back with what they feel, what their thoughts are. It could be if it's in an email, hit reply and tell me your favorite part of this blog. It doesn't have to be sales. And I think that's where people get confused with call to actions. There's so many things that you can offer as a call to action. So that's a really important thing. And sometimes that really trips people up because they don't want to add a call to action because they've already done it the first, you know, previously so much. Don't worry about it. Ask a question. Ask for, have them send you a message that tells them some, tells you something about them. Get to know them, try to engage, start a conversation is really the importance of that interaction, right? So 
those are really simple steps to kind of outline your blog. Um, I have a template and I'm happy to offer it to you. It's a very simple template, but you'd be amazed how much just um, organization and kind of like having it laid out can make that overwhelm settle. Uh, it's, it's really um, interesting. So I'm happy to offer the template to anybody who wants it. Um, I've linked it below. You can also send me in a message if you want, if you want more information on um, blogging and how it works and how to best kind of structure it and set it up. Um, I have another video coming out soon that's talking about really diving into your content and making sure that you have the clarity on your content so that when you sit down to write your blog, you already know what you want to say. Um, so this uh, steps to blogging and uh, content outlining, they kind of marry each other and go hand in hand. So that way your blog is not only set up for success, but the content within it is superb and it's clear. And that my friend is how you make a blog.